So a couple months ago, during our live stream, when we opened all the beer and the movies and everything people send us, people were requesting a Dan Haggerty film. And we said, we'll watch one very soon. Oh. And we promptly forgot and never watched it. Right. So today, we are rectifying that by watching Repo Jake, which is uh -huh. a movie on these action eat movies packs we have from Benjamin Ross and Steve on the day. I remember those coming through. And they sent the same ac action one. Yeah. Yep, we have the exact same huh. eight pack. So wow. I don't know if they sent this so we would watch Repo Jake or <laughs> other garbage on here, but that's what we're doing. All right. And I'm also from Quinn Kelly. He sent me a outsider cider from <laughs> Two Towns Cider House that I will be having. So, And I'm just drinking Aaron's favorite beer. As usual. <laughs> Who's PM? PM Entertainment? Is that who that is? That's who did uh, the Freedom Zone movie. What the hell was that called? With the Ultimate Warrior? Oh. Joseph Mary. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's him. Oh. Oh, I didn't know this oh. was PM Entertainment. Excellent. Oof. This Looking is good. ripped right from the VHS. It's got his tackle box. Jesus, does that look terrible. Or caboodle. He's big. Huh. He's a tall guy. It's Grizzly Adams. The man acted with a grizzly bear. <laughs> <laughs> Hold your own. I never think of the harmonica as an instrument I particularly give a shit about, but when it's in a good, like, bluesy song. Or an Aerosmith song. Or an Aerosmith song. <laughs> yeah, when you can play it, it's good. Yeah, it's yeah. cool. Going to a new town looking to repo some shit? Or <laughs> is he, like, unemployed uh. and he's going to become a repo man? What? He was unemployed in that one movie you watched, right? Elves, yeah. Yeah. He's oh. an unemployed Santa Claus. What are you, a goddamn Nazi or something? Is that elf yours? Where'd that come from? Look at him. He has like a, a strut to him. It's Grizzly Adams. How many times I gotta say that? <laughs> I think he was busted for cocaine. It's like uh, selling cocaine. You're fighting bears. You know what? Yeah. Have your cocaine. I, 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 don't, I don't know why anybody had a problem with that one. I think. So we don't have the driving scene, but we have the walking scene. So it's him walking. I feel like, yeah, like it's, it's a different, it's a t new take on a, an old favorite. Yeah. We don't know what to do, so just walk. Oh, it's a TV. Oh my God. It's like a four inch oh. screen. Oh. I said it was a caboodle. He's got his little loafers on. Oh. Look at him. Rolled up pants. Yeah. Damn. Someone is going off on this harmonica. Hey, oh, you're in trouble uh -oh. now. Uh-oh. He's going to repo you. Is he going through that window? He went. Oh, <laughs> oh guys, oh. chasing him. This guy's unfazed. And he's like, oh, somebody broke through my window again. <laughs> He's probably on a call to have the last window repaired. This oh, must yeah. be Oakland. <laughs> Oakland. Okay, I think you got her purse back. Good God. No, oh, he's wow, he's throwing it. Now he's oh. got two. <laughs> he might go to prison for this. Or jail, I should say. Like, I really don't want to give up this purse. No. Throw another one. Wait, that window was already broken. That window was broken. So was the one beside it. Yep. Oops. Well, I am looking for a place to rent. A place to rent? Um... Oh, of course. Jesus. Is there anything I can do for you? Yeah, I need a place to live. Sure. <laughs> Great, thanks. You wouldn't happen to have any girlfriends, would you? Is this a brothel? I was just going to say, is that a madam? With epic hair? Is that girl a whore? <laughs> I don't know. That was a nice place. Brothel's doing well. So he has a job lined up. Jake Baxter. So show him around, help him out, show him what a great team we've got. None of these guys are small. Makes sense, the repo. Repo guys. Mm -hmm. Someone give the poor guy a tissue. <laughs> Good catch. Yeah. It was like over his shoulder when yeah. he caught it. I don't even have the shoulder flexibility to get <laughs> something. Get back there. there. <laughs> oh jeez, what do you pick up? Oh yeah, don't, don't. I was gonna say, you're supposed to repo the car, not destroy it. Oh, 
This, what is with the music in this movie? I don't know. I feel like we should be like with mar um, maracas. Yeah. Oh, that was. Meaning he's gonna hit him? Well, how do you drive the car say, without keys? Did you turn the car off? The hot wire? Oh, he took the key off the chain. Oh! What's with the Nintendo music? He got a star. Power up. That was attempted murder. This music is... Silly. What were they thinking? They're thinking we got Grizzly Adams, Dan Haggerty. What music do I think of when I think of Dan Haggerty? And it's still going. <laughs> all yours. Just like that? Huh. That was the test? Where I'm from, they only give you an apple pie. This is great. No, it's terrible. No, apple pie sounds way better. Yeah. I mean, I have plants, but... Why would you give a guy a plant? It's not gonna <laughs> water that shit. <laughs> you bet. I'm working as a repo agent. A repo agent? That's kind of risky, isn't it? She likes it. Look at her. Of course she does. It's kind of risky, isn't it? Well, she watched him throw a dude through two windows. To get her purse back. Yeah. She's a woman living in L.A. He shows up with his burly beard and lumberjack, lumberjack shirt, and he's getting her purse back. She's like, I've never seen a man like you before. Yeah. I'm going to take you a plant. <laughs> She's like, would you like my flower? No. Nah. He's like, yeah. And she brings a plant. He's like, what? <laughs> Wait a minute, does that mean something different here in L.A.? What? Chopper for repo came over the computer. How much? $3,000. I'll take it. Chopper for repo? Hey, you didn't answer my question. What was the question? Can you fly one? Come on. Like riding a bike. Want you to know how you never forget. Figure it out on the, on the fly. <laughs> I mean, for 3000 bucks, you just go hire a pilot for 1000 Have him go with you. No, this dude is not gonna jump on. He that. totally is. Get off. The music again. It's like it should be a kids movie. Like a I don't know, some kind of like kids. Has anyone show. sworn yet? Goodness no. Is this a TV movie? It did say PM home video. I thought that just mm. meant like from a video store. But maybe that meant. Oh. Uh, maybe it's not a TV movie, but if like the shitty music, the not much in the way of production values. No cocaine yet. No cocaine. No, <laughs> no ultimate warrior. <laughs> they got one of those discs. Well, not back then. Back then it was a tape. Tape. That just had like royalty free music. Yeah. Because nothing matches anything. What was that? Why do we have to see him walking on sure. the roof? What? What establishing shot was that? Where is he? Wow. Fancy. Oh, is it her place? Oh. Careful, man. You might have to pay her. <laughs> We're not sure what's going on in this building. Oh. I heard him scrape that across the floor. <laughs> <laughs> this movie was made for nothing. I'm guessing spaghetti. That's like every movie's dinner. Yep, you nailed that. And water with red dye in it. It's bad, isn't it? No, it's good. I'm sorry. How do you mess up spaghetti? I don't know. As a matter of fact, order a pizza. I mean, not to move out here. They don't like what I'm trying to do. She's trying to bang him. Look at the wine pour she gave him. <laughs> He's a big guy though, so. I know, but your first date with someone, Usually you do like, he's got the hero pour. Minnesota, the Minnesota Vikings are from. We're the Halloween capital of the world. Oh, we have the greatest parade you've ever seen. He's just telling her random shit about- It's like I'm talking. It is, I'm like, I don't need to know any of this. <laughs> the average temperature during the summer, 75. Get 48 inches of rain every year. <laughs> 
I asked what time we're leaving. <laughs> now the bank wants to repossess my lot. If I don't come up with 60,000 bucks in three months. He has to make $60,000 or his shit gets repoed. Mm. I gotta go, I really do. Why? I gotta go repo a car. Why did Why'd you, you go? Show? We were there for five minutes. You wanted a free meal. He took two bites of food. He's like, I gotta go. See ya. <laughs> wow. Where are you going? I gotta go read book. <laughs> what in the shit? Wow. Huh. So Dan Haggerty would just do any movie. Do some cocaine and go repo stuff. I could be totally wrong about the cocaine thing. <laughs> I don't think I am. <laughs> what the hell do you think you're doing? I'm this car, that's what I'm... Oh! What the heck?! Is that dude seven feet tall? Yeah. Ah. Alright, big boy. He's, oh, he's, he's, he's holding, holding on! <laughs> what, but if you repo his car, you're leaving your car there. Mm -hmm. He knows mm -hmm. it's your car. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's not gonna be nothing of it left. This isn't a good plan. Open the door for me. No! Open the door! It's like Tammy and the T-Rex when they were holding each other's dicks during the fight. Oh! He's the plant there. So he has to eat again because he didn't eat any food, yeah, food right. at dinner. Because it was awful and he... What are we... We're just eating bread? Do we? What is happening here? We just watching him eat bread and soup? What the hell is this movie? He's from Minnesota. He's is this John Wayne. It's the soup capital of the world or whatever. Aaron. I'm not sure. We're watching a man eat soup. <laughs> Why was that in the movie? Why did he walk across the rooftop? Why do we have to watch him eat plain bread? Put some butter on that shit. Ugh. What is happening? What is the story, by the way? He's just repoing shit. There's this, no villain, there's no... This Minnesota boy moves to L.A. We know he has to make money, but shouldn't he have repoed, like, a drug dealer's car or something? And... Get into some stuff. We've watched him go on a horrible date, repo a helicopter, and eat soup. This must be what they wanted us to watch on this. This is shockingly terrible. Oh yeah, we have a side story of this guy who can't successfully repo anything. Or apparently get over a fence. What? Yeah, you're caught. You have a coat, you doofus. Put it on top of the fence. Um, why would they keep hiring this guy if he just fails? Aaron, what is this movie? It's weird. It's like they had to shoot a movie in a day, like... ABC needed a movie of the week, mm -hmm. and they were like, mm -hmm. you have four days to shoot this film. He's already, oh. like, naked. Oh, might not be made for TV. Oh, oh. well, nope. Oh, wow, this guy. He literally just motorboated her. <laughs> so this is not a made-for-TV movie. It's just everything but a pair is PG. It's a Joseph Mary movie, though. <laughs> Joseph Mary. <laughs> we might have to watch more of his movies, because... He probably was biting her. I think there's a mark on her boob. He's helping himself. Mm hmm what, What's this intercutting? What? They're out in the desert having... Jeez. Good lord, this guy has been working on her. Oh, her boyfriend's gonna come home or something, huh? But why are we intercutting with a dirt bike? Doing a wheelie. It's like boobs, dirt bike. Boobs, truck. This is a movie for men, that's why. <laughs> Yeah! I don't know what I did, but I did it! Oh, God. He wasn't in the truck? I thought maybe he was in the truck That's chasing what I thought. the bike. To get the bike. Apparently no. that was had to do with nothing. Aaron, what the hell? <sighs> there, there's no story. Is that guy done banging that chick, apparently? Is that over? Those doors were cardboard. I wouldn't think... Bringing the car back all screwed up would be beneficial. Everyone loves the watch, trying to see a wreck, because it always happens. Maybe catch a glimpse of blood, you know? We dress up for these? Oh, this guy. He's like... Oh. 
there's big money in this, you know. Give me the money you owe me. Just take a little time, you know? He says as he has two hookers with him. <laughs> I don't have your money yet. <laughs> really? It looks like you just spent uh -huh. it. That's what I invested my money in. No. Not to be bet on a goddamn car. No, Mr. Kova. Does Joe Mary understand what a demo derby is? It's Joseph. If I see you here again, before I get my $57,000 back. $57,000 is shockingly close to what Dan Haggerty has to mm. make. I don't think he understands what the demolition derby is. Yeah, it's like whoever's car is still driving at the end, right? Yes, it's not glamorous. I mean, people do bet on them, but... Not big dollar amounts. <laughs> like a horse race. Shit's not even <gasps> televised. Like, who would bet no. on this? What? It's like circus music. It's a, lullaby. a lullaby. Hold on. Get up. Uh, Bulldog wants you to get this Grand Prix ASAP. Why are we watching this? Why, why has anything in this movie happened? If we didn't have that explicit scene of what's-his-face... I would think this is TV. Motorboating that woman. For a while. Nice. I built it myself. Been working on this for almost a year. I just Wait. don't understand the angle of... Like, all of a sudden it's about the Demolition Derby. It's not about repoing. Mm, no. How would you like to make an investment? The entrance fee is $5,000. That's where you come in. $5,000? Uh... That's a hell of a deal if you ask me. Well, I'm not asking you. <laughs> oh, that was actually a good line. <laughs> can you drive that thing? I can see why he's about to lose his home or whatever in Minneapolis. I don't know, my sash still might have mud on it because I was in the stands, but it was so muddy that it was like... All over your dress? Yeah. <laughs> Real shit kick and stuff. <laughs> Yep. I didn't mud on your sash. Time on that bulldog. 148. Going for a little ride. Time is bulldog. You're gonna watch the suspension go. <laughs> is being a fast driver important? I don't know. <laughs> oh boy. That uh, wasn't the smoothest thing I've ever seen. Aaron, it's a racing movie now. What is this? Do you know what? Somewhere. Brian is like itching. He's like, "Oh, Brian, be all over this right now." Telling us the names of all these cars incorrectly. <laughs> He'd be telling us the wrong car. But Somewhere yes. he's uncomfortable. He doesn't know why he's like just saying random car names, but this is why. Thirty-eight seconds. Damn, he's good. Wait. It went from a minute forty-eight to thirty-eight. He cut about a minute off. Out of less than two? <laughs> he weighs a hundred pounds more than that guy. <laughs> Tires are gonna fall off. So is he gonna become a a driver now? I thought he was repoing shit. And then the, there was like a, oh, a look at him get out. There was like a drug dealer. But now he's a drug What the what happened to his date? The girl he was into. She's still eating spaghetti. See you tomorrow. Wait, well, what about my offer? Let me think about it. Uh Ooh. that's a no. Yeah, why would you invest in somebody who's that shitty at driving? Aaron. Let's do it. What is this? Porno shoot, I'm guessing? Why is it blue? Oh, we're looking at a screen. Oh. Oh. Oh, this is not a made-for-TV movie for sure. I was wondering maybe that one scene was just added in. No. Wow. What is this, a beach movie? Hey, it's in my script. I... The script! These girls can't read! <laughs> ah! Wow. Wow. Took a love drug. They all got their clothes off and they're, and they're sucking the shit out of each other. <laughs> what? <laughs> what the hell is happening? Well, this is a totally different movie. He's making a porno. I, I, I'm lost. There's 17 different storylines in this. I, it's loose to call them storylines. What happened to the dude who couldn't successfully repo anything, who yeah. was motorboating that yeah. chick? Is he just out of the movie? I don't know. Uh, this man's everything. I don't know. I still don't know what the story of the movie is. No. This guy's not that scary. 
No, not at all. He feels like he should be like the lackey, you know, just kind of like not the one in charge. And it's yours. Just win. Do one thing for me. Win me. What are we waiting for? <laughs> You're gonna go outrun some children in the street. <laughs> Like a real heavyweight boxing champ mm -hmm. does. <laughs> Show up some kids. <laughs> Why did this have to happen? Well, I don't know. I mean, you're in the repo business. The so, odds of it happening are high. If he wins, does he keep the $57,000? Right. How's that well, He is good as the sleazy mm -hmm. cameraman, for mm -hmm. sure, yeah. Tough guy. Drug, drug dealer, mob boss guy. Yeah, he's not intimidating. Really? He's sleazy. Really. You're totally right. Oh! <laughs> I kind of love Dan Haggerty. Oh, not through. The <laughs> well, if you're going to go through anywhere, I suppose maybe that's the best. So, is the story finally going to start now? He screwed with the wrong guy when repoing? There yeah. is no primary yeah, story. You're right. We are. Mm. Uh, 55 minutes in. What? This is slow. I love this. <laughs> I love this movie. <laughs> oh, man. Why, why am I the only one who loves the bad writing in these? <laughs> I'm the only one who's like, wow, this is so stupid. Oh, why aren't we done yet? Well, uh, he won't be needing us for his pit crew. Looks like you'll need us now. Is this movie going to end with him in the demolition derby? She's back. Uh, yes, it certainly has. Oh, I spent like 45 minutes. I thought you were happy when I left town to become a boxing champion. Oh. <laughs> He's reading lots. <laughs> mm. Okay, I, it's official. I love Dan Haggerty movies. They're the best. They're so stunningly awful. Yeah, but you really don't kiss the guy, do you? Huh? Huh? Do you actually kiss the guy in the movie? Has he ever seen a movie? <laughs> May, uh, I don't know. Oh. Mm, she's like eating all the crumbs out of that beard. That's disgusting. That soup he had a couple days ago is probably <laughs> still uh, <laughs> marinating in there. <laughs> you know that film that gets on the top if you don't uh, eat it right away? I mean, she was... <laughs> She didn't kiss his lips. She like no. She like ate his mustache. <laughs> Ugh. Ugh. She's probably a little high now. <laughs> uh oh. Okay. He's getting a balloon made. You don't have any children. <sighs> you see how nice of a guy he is. I think that was the whole point of that scene. They were on the rooftop. Mm -hmm. We watched them walk down the street. Now they're on the rooftop again. Pounding beer. Yeah. Well, this is. She's pounding beer. He yes. has wine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I was married for a long time, and my wife got real ill. She begged me to stay with her. I had to go drive this race. I won the race, came back, and my wife passed away. After that, I just kind of quit racing. After that, I just kind of quit racing. That was maybe the worst dialogue. And the worst performance of the dialogue we've ever seen. <laughs> My wife was real sick. She had cancer. She begged me to stay with her. I did, not I went and did a race. And then she died. <laughs> you don't enjoy this? I freaking love this. I could watch movies like this all day long. Oh, mercy. Okay, maybe not all day. I mean, look. There's some entertainment in Did it. Did you see that? Did you hear that? Oh, they put beer in those glasses. That's beer. Yeah. They wanted him to drink wine or champagne. He was like, just pour the beer in this. Yeah. Well, I don't blame him. <laughs> How would they know to go to her place? You wasted that much time setting that up. Just hold a gun to her head. Why'd she have a sidewalk on her it, wall? Uh, it, <laughs> It's really strange. Come after me like that again, or I will kill you, you sucker! He's like, don't you ever repo my shit again? Make your payments! 
found this sure thing here. It's you, the Slam Track Championship. <laughs> so they're trying to get him to throw the demolition to <laughs> There's high high money in these. High money. $57,000. He needs... High stakes, yeah, yeah. How much does he need? I don't remember. I don't He know. needs sixty to save his property. So he happened to learn off camera mm -hmm. that the man who repoed his car mm -hmm. also happens to be racing yep. in the demolition derby that he wants to bet on yep. and has determined he... Is the front runner in the Demolition Derby, even mm -hmm. though no one mm -hmm. knows that he's... A That's right. That's he's right. He's never driven in the Demolition right. Derby. Right, right. Because he would have had to go to Blondie. Like, yes, you're right. There's a lot of things. I thought they were just there because they were pissed off he repoed the car. <laughs> I need some water. I can just water. Hang on. Put that kind of drama into your reading your lines. I think you might get the part. Oh my God. Some guys just broke into your apartment, strung you up, mm -hmm. and let you hang for a little while. Calm. What's the problem? Down. Christ. Jeez. Freaking oh. millennials, dude. They're the worst. Yeah. Just can't handle a little. I don't even in. know it. She, she's like a boomer. Yeah. <laughs> this is in the yeah. 80s. <laughs> yeah. You got to do what I tell you to Dick, do. They don't want to hurt me. They want to hurt you. You could also call the police. Yeah. yeah. You're, you're a repo man. You're not a vigilante. Right, right, right. <laughs> like. Like you, you're crying. breaking and entering, assault, mm -hmm. attempted, attempted murder. murder. Like, he's going away. <laughs> just literally just call the police and the movie's over. You know who he is, where he lives. Yeah. You repoed his shit. Yes. You have everything on file. Take the big bet because once the action starts, we're going to close it up. And Maybe they were just keeping me sheltered from all the uh, betting that goes on at these demos all these years. I have Apparently. no idea. This is what your dad was doing while you were getting here. <laughs> like giving your speech, he was placing high dollar bets on the demolition derby. Why is he a repo man? Have him go down here for a racing gig. Why the, the repo has nothing to do with anything. It's a racing movie now. Yeah, it's a little shady, so he's asking questions like, where's yeah, the crowd? He's, he's What's going on? He's getting because he's yeah. winning races. Yeah. They want him to yeah. lose the bigger, like, yeah. this is nonsense. <laughs> Also, uh, where is Motorboat? Is he is he oh. disappeared from the movie? They're still back he's, shooting he's, their scene. He's still working those boobs out. <laughs> so he's decided I'm gonna win and let them kill my girlfriend. <laughs> like a hero. Well, he did let his wife die by her, by herself. <laughs> right, so he could go race. <laughs> so this isn't oh. that far off. Oh, the trunk is explosive. <laughs> Well, where's the gas tanks in the that back? That is where the gas went, in that yeah. one car, yeah. Does this have the worst music of any movie we've watched? I think it's the worst best. Look how bad this is. That shot might have been more interesting if there were cars in front of them. If there were people in the stands. Where is Motorboat? <laughs> He's just been hammering that woman for days. I need to keep working on getting this camper. I'm almost there. Okay. Guitar shredding. Okay, though. I'm down with this pyro. Oh, why is that flipping? It didn't even hit anything. <laughs> it Send entered, him! It entered the frame. Send him! In a roll. So he purposely stopped so that uh, the other dude would win. What are you doing here? I thought I told you to go to Colorado. I didn't go. Got it. Huh? Huh? <laughs> he did? He just made a big mistake. So she showed up to the race <sighs> that he was being forced to lose, yeah. knowing these guys would be there. Yeah. Aaron. <laughs> you son of a bitch! That? It's the mafia guy. I, oh. He even specifically told him, don't bet on the race. Mm -hmm. Use whores. He told you how to play the game. Oh. He's back. He's going to be like walking like with a limp because he's all chafed. He needs an IV. Oh. We're he's, getting into the good shit and pouring it into styrofoam. These garage boys drink champagne. Yeah. Oh, it's the madam. Oh, it is. I forgot about her. Why is she there? I, I 
She's his landlord that he talked to once. Oh, wow. Okay. She hasn't been in the movie since. That doesn't matter. She's one of the good guys. She's partying with all the repo guys now. Boy, he's. Oh, he's. Is he going to get laid again? Wow. Okay, we understand. You're drinking. They're drinking champagne. Yeah. I repo cars. I'm slick and smooth when I move. All I need is a minute and let's be proper with you. And if you're late on your payments, this sorry is what I say. But I must make a living. I take your car and get paid. Yo, I ain't no Einstein, but I ain't no dope. And it's clear to see they paid. I take your car for your cash. All right, girls, it's that time again. Let's go. I want you to go first. Jason. You want me to go first? Jason. Was Repo Jake so bad it's good? Absolutely. (laughs) I loved that movie so much. I don't know if I was just in the right mood for like absolute nonsense <laughs> but that is one of the dumbest stories we have ever watched <laughs> that was so uh, shockingly terrible i freaking loved it dan haggerty might be one of my favorite actors <laughs> I, the guy can't win yeah i mean yeah he was repoing cars and he's a race car driver there's yeah. a porno ring there's yeah. a yeah 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 Yeah. Joseph Mary. Wow. It was, uh, yeah, that was, that was some nonsense. That was some nonsense. It's bad. (laughs) I, I, I will give it the stamp, but you gotta be ready to go in with the idea that you're not going to get it. Like you're just, there's not a lot of action. No, 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 no. You have to appreciate really terrible storytelling. Yes. That is, that is its claim to fame. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. I mean, there's a scene where he just eats soup. That's it. And that other guy eats boobs. He balances out. <laughs> Can't stay in it at certain points, and I don't know what they are. Oh, but... you are the fair queen. You know the demolition <laughs> derby rules. <laughs> Jesus. It's a big deal. Even before I was all that doing all that stuff, you always went to the demo derby. Always. It's a big night. I've never been to one. Stadium lights are on. 